If you want to watch full interviews, make sure you head over to the Fanbase app and subscribe to the Let's Argue Morning Show. <clears throat> we back again on KRSM 98.9 every Monday morning from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. We got a very special guest in the house. Uh, one of the first things we like to do always, anytime we have a guest, is allow our guests to explain uh, who they are to our audience in their own words. Okay, so that's my cue. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my name is Jennifer Sharp, and I am a filmmaker, proud, like made movies, check out my other movies. Uh, my first feature film was I'm Through with White Girls in 2007. My last feature film I shot in Mexico is called Una Great Movie, and it was actually just released on Amazon Prime this year. There's like a few oh. months ago. It's called Una Great Movie. Anyway, so that I'm and they're, they're fiction and they're comedy, they're fun. Um, so I that's me. That's me as a filmmaker. And I then recently just made anecdotals, which is what we're talking about, which is a documentary. It's a departure from my comedic self. It's also a um risk I took because I'm I'm delving into the vaccine talk in my professional life, which could really mess me up a little you know right. i mean I, like yep. i have i'm a filmmaker and i had just a lot of thoughts like am i gonna get into this vaccine thing am i gonna make this movie because i'm trying to get my other career off the line as a filmmaker that i've been doing for 20 years and um but i decided to to make a vaccine a movie about my vaccine injury i was i was injured by the pfizer vaccine and just started to get a glimpse into the world of the vaccine injury people and the glimpse into the world of everybody else who says vaccine injuries don't exist and all this push and pull about like, and suddenly if I'm talking about vaccines, I'm a Republican and just all of this crazy world that happened. And I was like, you know what, as an artist, I believe that we have a responsibility to um, reflect the world as we see it. That's what artists do. We are a reflection of the world, we, whether it's painting, whether it's, and I'm a filmmaker. Absolutely. You know, and I, I think films should reflect the world. I think there's something about films that are just fun and make you like forget. But also we have a responsibility. I'm an artist. I have a responsibility. I was in a really, really unique place where I was injured and I have the ability to make a movie and I wasn't injured bad enough that I was like my life was messed up. So I have now just taken the chance and made a movie about my vaccine injury, covering other vaccine injuries. And and it's called Anecdotals. And that's pretty much me. How's that? <laughs> amazing amazing wow Great. okay so okay so so what was that moment so okay so so after your injury what was what was the uh can you uh, can you actually speak on your injury and, and what was the moment where you was like okay i gotta make a movie i okay. have to yes so my injury really quickly like so i got the shot I, that night I woke up in the middle of the night, my bed was drenched in sweat. I was sweat, sweat fever only on the left side of my body. The right side of my body was totally dry and totally cool. The left side was like hot. And I was like, that's weird. Woke up, couldn't feel the left side of my face. Um, chipped my tooth eating because I couldn't feel my gums. I had a headache only on the left side of my head. So I definitely had a fever on the left side of my body because if you touched it, I was burning up. And wow. then the other side, the other side, I was cool. It was just in my left knee and my left ankle were swollen and it hurt to walk. And um, so there was a lot of things going on that were um, that were weird only on the left side. It was very clear. I, you know, I, I kind of blew it off. I was laughing. I mean, I'd call my family and be like, I can't feel my face. Like, is this like, right. I, you know, and I was supposed to meet a friend that weekend from high school. Um, mm. We were going to meet, she lives in Sacramento. I live in LA. We were going to meet in the middle and have like a weekend at a hotel, like during COVID season. And I was supposed to, and my shot was Thursday and I was supposed to go Friday. I called her. I was like, uh, I can't feel my face. Um, I don't know. And she was just like, oh my gosh. And I was like, I didn't, I was, so my first thought was like, do I go to this weekend with my friend? Right. Um, I went and we're old school, high school. You know how you, you are when you get back with your high school friends. Like absolutely. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of wine tasting involved. Right, so, right. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a blur of a weekend, but the whole time we were joking a lot. Like, and she wasn't getting vaccinated. Like, um, right. and she was just like, Well, you took the we actually had a we actually had a fight about the vaccine that weekend. Wow. She was like, Well, it's not really a vaccine. 
And I'm right. like, the thing is, we, her and I argue a lot, like, because she's really hard headed and uh, we're not hard headed. She's a strong woman and I'm a strong woman. Right. She clash a lot. And I like that. I like at least knowing what's what we're thinking. There's no question. Nope. There's no. And right. she was just kind of like, well, if people are still getting COVID or, and this was March of 2020. So people weren't getting COVID, but she had a few skepticisms. And I was just like, this is her typical self being just trying to be like a naysayer. And I wasn't having it. So we actually argued about that. We had a fight about the vaccine. Uh-huh. And I'm having it. And I didn't believe in the vaccine. I wasn't pro vaccine. Like I wasn't like, this is the answer, but I was just like, stop being so skeptical because you don't know what you're talking about either. Right. And right. That's all I was saying. Like, I'm like, I don't know, but you don't know either. So don't act like, you know, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I had a really good weekend with her. <laughs> Basically it's a year. Now let's fast forward to now it's two years later almost. And I still have tingling. Like I'll be, I'll be suddenly I'll get like a sharp pain in my hand. Like someone's stabbing me with a needle that happens a lot. Like in my face and my hand It's usually still left side, occasionally. Right. Um, it's not that bad. I get to, I get tinnitus, tinnitus sometimes, but it lasts right. like 30 seconds. Like my stuff is like, I'm, I think I'm like 90 to 95% back to normal. So right. that moment to now it's been like a slow recovery. Um, but I still, my, I wake up in the morning and my left leg is numb. It takes about an hour or half an hour for it to be like totally awake. Um, and then I'm fine. And just random itching my hand itches, like just weird neurological stuff. Right. I'm lucky. Um, but who knows, maybe I'm going to develop multiple sclerosis in three years or who knows I'm going to, you know, Parkinson's or like, there's definitely neurological stuff happening. Not crazy. So to answer the second part of your question, I, everybody was telling me to make a movie from the beginning. They were like, you should make a movie. You're a filmmaker. And I was like, no, no, no. I just did right. a great movie. Like I did a great movie and I'm still like <laughs> recovering from that. It was six years. I shot it in Mexico and I want to make money from that. And I'm like, no, no, no. But eventually enough people told me I met this guy. He's actually the executive producer on the film. His name is Josh. And I met him in Brooklyn at an anti-mandate. It's a whole nother thing. I won't even go there, but I happened to meet him and he found out my story and he was like, you're a filmmaker. Are you not making a movie about this? And I was just like, I just, Then he was like, hey, I want to help you any way you can. If you decide to make a movie, I'm down because I think this is really wrong what's happening because we were about the mandates because it was about mandates. So I was mandated out of society. Like I live in Los Angeles and I work in New York City. Wow. I I was in the two places. Yeah. Not allowed. I was not allowed to participate in society. Wow. And it wow. was crazy. So I was just like, I couldn't, people would invite me places and I'd be like, yeah, I don't think I'm allowed to go there. Wow. And it was, and it was months. And so anyway, then I lost my second job because I wasn't vaccinated. Um, I had gotten a really good three week job, really good filmmaking, producing good connections, good money, three weeks. I was hired. And then they told me like two weeks before, oh, you're not vaccinated. We can't hire you. And Mm. I was like, and this was in January of this year when the Omicron was actually still getting people who were not vaccinated. I mean, who were vaccinated, who were vaccinated. So it was like the questions were like hard to deny if you're vaccinated, getting it. So like, don't be so. So I said, hey, I have a vax card that shows I got one shot. I have an exemption um, and I'm willing to get tested every single day. When I wake up, I'll I'll do a test. Right. They were like, no, if you're not vaccinated, you can't you can't have this job. And wow. that was, that was my, that's the second part of your question. That was my deciding moment when I said, all right, people need to understand what's happening because people don't get it. And um, so that was my deciding moment. And I was just like, so then what I did was I made the trailer, which is actually on my website. Now it's the same thing I made. I went to a park and I shot it and I was like, let's just see what happens. Cause I can't, right. I can't go broke. I went broke for my last movie. I can't go broke right. for another movie. I have no money. Like, right. So I was just like, let me put this together and see what kind of money I can get and just see what happens. So I made this three minute video, sent it to Josh, the guy who, um, you know, was like, I'll help you. And I'm like, well, let's see if he'll, what, what he means. I didn't even know if he meant money or whatever. Right. And he was like, no, this is great. Let's do it. He goes, I'm going to reach out to people. I'm going to try to help get you money. He initially put down a, a small amount, a, a decent amount to, you know, start whatever. It's like none, nothing has been, um, I basically made the whole movie for under a hundred thousand. Like, so as far as like wow. go, like at the end, but like I started with way less than that and was like, I'll just, do what I can for the little money I get. And then he helped me get a little more money so we could do some interviews. And that was, and so once he was on, I was like, all right, if you're on to help me and you, I got this little bit, let's, let's do it. Wow. Oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> you, you, you know what I'm thinking right now? 
it, yo, it, it, hold on. I'm, it's so <laughs> crazy because we got so many questions. But from that, it's like I got 10 more questions already. Just from that, that, that's what I was about to say. I, I was about to say, <laughs> like, like, not only am I interested in uh like the movie and like the vaccine and everything, but I'm also it's so inter uh 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 I'm interested in like the journey of like being a filmmaker and like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like getting films done and things like that. Um, <laughs> I, I used wow. to, I used to, I, I used to uh, do some acting a little bit like back in the day. So like, <clears throat> oh, I'm, I'm, here we go. No, here no, we go. no, no, no. Here we go. Now you're acting now. <laughs> no, no. But I'm just saying, it, it, it's just like, I, I love <laughs> listening to like people who like, are, are like, like follow their passions, not passionate. And, and, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, like do their art and do their work and get their message out there. You know what I'm saying? I, I really, uh, I don't know. I just love hearing stories about that. But, um, but let, let's kind of keep it on top. Make sure you head over to the fan base app and subscribe to the Let's Argue Morning Show.